have some updates about that man's absence what? from mandatory minicamp. Friend of the show, Connor Hughes, wrote up a piece about his absence from mandatory minicamp. And here is what was a part of it. Quote, hysteria over Roger's whereabouts emerged largely because of the way the absence was announced. While they were aware of Roger's trip, the understanding of why it was important to him, their public stance on the matter gave the impression they were not. Are the Jets to blame for making this a national story? Well, look, Aaron Rodgers is to blame because he decided not to go to mandatory minicamp. But it's what I said from Jump Street. The Jets have no goodwill. They don't have any goodwill with the fan base. They don't have any goodwill with the media. And where the Jets made their biggest mistake, and we said this at the time, was they didn't get ahead of the story. Like the Friday going into that weekend before the mini camp starts, all you had to do was come out and say, look, not a big deal, but Aaron's not going to be here. Uh, we're good with it. Blah, 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 blah. And then, it's, uh, again, it's a story, but it's a different type of story. You know, when you come out the Monday of minicamp and you announce, as Robert Sala, the coach, did, and you come out and you go, Aaron Rodgers is not here, and it's an unexcused absence, and he will be fined. But we know where he is, and we're okay with it, and what's important to him is important, blah, 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 blah. You know, you set yourself up for the ridicule that they face. But big picture, look, you guys played the sport. You had teammates who came, you had teammates who didn't show up, you know, based on contractual stuff going on or whatever else the case may be. At the end of the day, when you're a 20-year veteran with four MVPs and you have been to every other practice and been involved in every other aspect of the off-season workouts, they are not going to win a game or lose a game this year because Aaron Rodgers attended or didn't attend a couple practices in a t-shirt. I mean, now that we know that he went halfway around the world yes. to go to Egypt, it's not a, it's not, <coughs> it's not a, a, a vacation or you plan two or three weeks in advance. So this was mapped out. It was out planned months in advance. Months in advance. And the schedule for minicamp yeah. came, came yeah. out and after it, he had and, planned. And Robert Salah is in charge of when he wants to hold the minicamp. It's, it's up to his discretion to uh, host the camp. And he chose to hold the camp knowing that Aaron Rodgers wasn't going to be there. He walks in Monday morning, oh, Aaron Rodgers is not here. It's an unexcused absence. Tyrod Taylor are taking all the reps right. during minicamp. Which is not the worst thing in the yeah, world, by yeah, the way. It's not the worst thing in the world, but they they didn't want to say anything to Monday before because they didn't want to be asking those questions during the minicamp where Aaron Rodgers where is Aaron Rodgers. And now they think that it's, it's, it's better for us knowing now where he was after the fact. Right, guy. June minicamp. Do you win or lose games based on that? Man, you, you said he had four MVPs, twenty-year veteran. I, yeah. I don't think you're winning and losing games off of minicamp. So. Right, and he went to every single other practice. That's not the point. Oh, what's the point? The point is that it's not a good look for for his teammates. I agree, coming but off it's the Jets. Going, it's, it's, it's a one-year or bust for the Jets. Yes, they need everything they can get. They need all hands on deck. Aaron Rodgers needs to be there. So it's a bad look for the team. And okay, the team I accept that. Honestly, said, no, they're going to lose a game in in, in, in minicamp. We know that. Okay, but it's the fact that he was there. Every other quarterback in the world has been at Patrick Mahomes still there. Right, but he was learning about Egyptian culture, Plaxico. He's a more well-rounded person Is the now. Egyptian culture going to help him not throw interceptions? I'll tell you what. All right. How about is this? The, if are, I may, is, hey, if are, I may. Is the Egyptian culture going to help him it not might. start off the season 0-2? Well, might. I don't think yes, so. Yes, it is. So, and I, I have a different take to both of y'all. I feel Go. like the biggest problem right here is us, like the media and everybody else, because we're worried about us. I'm not part of the media. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't stop that, yeah, yeah, every day, bro. You get it off on the wrong foot. You get it off on the wrong yeah, foot. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you been here seven and a half minutes. You get it off on the wrong foot. Yeah. Like, we supposed to protect each other, you know, bro. You're you okay. right. But what I'm saying okay. is they, they already had an understanding of where he was doing, where he was going. Mm -hmm. I feel that we're overlooking this because he's been to every practice. The team already understood what he was doing. He, he already has repertoire with the people that's already going to be there, that's yeah. already been there. Let's so, be honest, part me, of this is that it's the Jets, too. Yeah. Like, so I said, we have no goodwill at all. But just to answer your question, how is learning about Egyptian culture, which I told you guys a week ago. What do you know about Egyptian culture? I know a lot. Uh, Nefertiti. Uh, uh, all about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. All right. That's right. The only, I, the only thing that Now, you know. look, T.D. is a tough last name. Not going to say it's not. 
but Nefertiti. <laughs> I know name. all about. I, by the way, not I, a last name. Yeah, Nefertiti. <laughs> yeah, it's a common name in Egypt back at the turn of the century. Uh, I just don't know which century. No. But here's what's gonna happen, and you're gonna have to own this, Plax. At some point, week one, Monday Night Football, Jet San Francisco, Aaron Rodgers in the shotgun. Nefertiti! <laughs> Nefertiti! Yep. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, well, Tootin' well, common. Hey, well, let's Tootin' common. Yeah, well, let's just hope he can complete a pass in the first four plays. Remember, that Hunt runs with Tut, so he's yeah. on a different level no. than everybody else. No. Don't forget that. Everybody's still saying hike. That's how old it is. <laughs> yeah, we learned a valuable lesson Plaxico taught us that while most of us on playgrounds like to say Hunt had hike, he's never heard a quarterback ever say the word hike. It's usually hunt or go. Can you confirm have that you, as well? Have you heard a quarterback in a professional football game say the word hike? No, I, I have not. I have not. Thank you. you know, See, I now played, you're back in cahoots. Uh, Are you I, happy? I, 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 played against, I played against a lot of quarterbacks, and I've learned their cadences, and I've never heard one say hike. No, no. Damn it. I don't know. Where do we come up with hike? That if is were, American, If you were too. another member of the Jets, would you be bothered by this whole thing? He doesn't care. To, to me, I feel like it's more if you're a younger guy or if you're an older guy. If you're an older guy, you kind of understand – who you're dealing with, and you understand, hey, he had a, he communicated with the team. I don't feel like it's a problem. If you're a younger guy that's kind of looking up to Aaron and just trying to see and learn him, and he's not there, maybe that's a situation where you're like, oh, I mean, man. yeah, if I'm Garrett Wilson, I would, I would like to know that because I'm going into mini camp. I'm like, man, I'm excited. I can, I'm excited. I get to work with my guy, and then when he gets hurt uh, on the opening drive of the first game, he comes up to uh, Garrett Wilson in the in the tunnel and says, "Sorry, kid. He apologized. Like, I'll yeah. let you down." But he's still letting them down up to this point because he has not had any game or, or more repetitions with him to get better. Look, obviously it'd be better if he was there, but like Ryan said, I'm not going to lose any sleep over the fact that he missed a couple of practices this saw, year. On to. Hey there, thank you so much for watching The Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1, so check them out too.